who's got the biggest brains and coming soon, the biggest muscles. You do, hunk. Bet your tight little bottom you do. In season two, Blair and Dawn really are the only people in the world that benefited from Black Monday. So um, for better or for worse, when we see them months later, they're doing great. Um, <laughs> they're doing real great. And Blair and uh, Tiff are f just full on with their marriage and they've really made a commitment to each other to, uh, to just team up. And um, we specifically find them in DC where Blair is sort of dabbling as a lobbyist now. Um, so a little bit of a different position. We see him sort of really coming into his own. And, um, but his motivations are still very unclear this season. You know, we, we sort of kick off the season in the first episode with, um, you think maybe Blair will have a little, um, a little romance this season, aside from his wife. Um, but, uh, but then it immediately becomes unclear as to sort of what he's thinking and why he's doing it. And um, so it's been, it was really fun to get to play because you, 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 uh, you know, you never know sort of what, um, what he's thinking and why he's doing what he's doing and everything has sort of a double meaning to it. And um, so it was really, it was, it's, a, it's was a great season to, uh, to dive into. Mo is gone and he's not coming back. Make it, make it. Miss me? What's with your look, bro? You look like a polluted waterfall. I'll have you know this is a very popular hairstyle. Well, the romance too is also with your real life boyfriend. That's true. So that's a nice perk. That's <laughs> true. That is the, this is the second time Tuck Watkins and I have played um, opposite each other. It, we started, uh, we met doing Boys in the Band on Broadway and then just finished the film version of Boys in the Band um, where we also played um, boyfriends. Uh, and now this, he's, he is um, Blair's love interest uh, in, uh, in season two of Black Monday, which was really, really fun. Um, so yeah, so it was, I mean, there's, there's uh, uh, you know, obviously it's, it's very fun to work with the person you're dating, and then, um, but, but to have to play like a love interest with them was, um, was a whole different, <laughs> whole different challenge. That's one thing I enjoy about Black Monday is like everyone kind of seems like, oh, like there's, there's our pal Paul Shear and like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's really, it's, we had some great guest stars come in this, this season, Michael Hitchcock and, um, and as you said, June Diane and um, some really fun, uh, Julie Haggerty and Phil Reeves are back. And um, so it's, it, it, it is fun and it's, um, I, I feel like we were very lucky and we've been very lucky that, you know, sometimes we'll talk about casting and, and come up with these, you know, sort of what is really sort of selfish and um, would just be like, well, that's a fun person that I've always wanted to work with. Um, and then they arrive and it's, um, <laughs> it's pretty amazing that that happened. So um, we've been really fortunate with the people we've gotten to, uh, to get to play with this year. Do you honestly think Mo is not out there right now plotting his revenge? They had a bit of a falling out last season, autumn. Did you learn anything about bank deregulation or the savings and loan crisis? Well, you know, that was one of those things that I thought that I knew about. And then when I actually started to, to really learn about what that was in the 80s and that banks were trading with people's life savings unbeknownst to those people, um, it's one of those things that you're like, well, that can't actually, that's not a real true story. But it was. <laughs> um, so I was really, that was, it was really shocking. And also have to, to play someone who's in favor of that and be like, yes, you, we should be able to, to trade with the life savings of people unbeknownst to them um, was really horrifying. But again, um, much like, you know, season one, um, these were things that actually did very much uh, occur in the 80s. And um, people's motivations were usually fueled by, by greed. And that is no different for Blair. Have you picked up any stock tips from the show? Like, are you like, I should get? No, I would not trust me with any financial. Um, don't, don't. I mean, I, yeah, I have, I've, I've become more interested in that, but uh, that interest uh, was really just, um, uh, just made me want to hire better people to take care of those things. <laughs> I can't. I don't take any advice from me about the stock market. <laughs> Let's say, you know, they actually started filming The Real Houses of New York in like 1987 or yeah. whatever Black Monday is. Um, who would Blair and Tiff be on the show? Do you know what I mean? I mean, uh, for sure they would be on the show, mm -hmm. like without a doubt. He would I be think, like the get. Well, I think that Casey, <laughs> Tiff would definitely be the get. And I think that 
Blair would be one of those husbands that like reluctantly goes to parties. Like when Kelsey Grammer was on mm -hmm. Beverly Hills. Like when he would just like show up for like one day and be like, wow, look at this. Like I, I would do like one episode, but Casey would be all over it. She would be throwing drinks and <laughs> flipping tables. She would, <laughs> Tiff would have been all over that. And then they would like inevitably get divorced in, like a couple seasons in, and that would be a storyline. Oh, like, sure, and, but yeah. probably really stretch it. I think we could probably, they could stretch that out for a while. Play ball! <laughs> Shooting! Whoa.